An agricultural engineer is an engineer that utilizes science and math, just like other engineers. But with agricultural engineering, the focus is primarily on design of agricultural systems, so things related to farming practices. Agricultural engineering, it's pretty unique because it combines all the other engineering fields with aspects of biological sciences and ecology and puts those together to improve and produce food. They apply those skills and those concepts towards uh, managing agricultural systems and also managing biological systems. There's three main problems that confront society today. One of those is producing enough energy for a growing population. One of those is producing enough food for a growing population. And the third one is maintaining environmental quality so that we can sustain the ecosystem services that support us. And agricultural engineers are gonna be leaders in solving these problems in the future. Agricultural engineering is very important for everyone because um, the engineering allows us to uh, provide sustainable plant-based products new ways to do cropping or grow crops and using minimal chemicals and fertilizers and those types of things um, are very important. Here at International Paper, we are always looking at different ways to apply these sustainable plant-based products in developing our own products. One of the projects I was fortunate to work on was the development of the, the latest generation of the Ecotainer Cup, in which we were able to apply a new type of plastic coating, and uh, I was involved in the selection of that material and also in modifying our equipment in our production plant to be able to run this new type of bioplastic. The project I'm currently working on is uh, developing smaller scale affordable digesters for dairy farms that have about 100, 200 cows on them in the United States. I guess our overall goal is to, is to help smaller farmers, smaller dairy farmers, so 150 cow farmers, give or take, realize the benefits of anaerobic digestion. So anaerobic digestion can produce energy, it can produce good fertilizer, and it can reduce pathogens. Right now, those type of benefits are only realizable for large farms. So what we're trying to do is develop technology that's at the right scale, that's affordable for smaller scale farmers, so they can realize those benefits also. When you start to look at job opportunities, there's a lot of those, especially in the bioenergy field right now. In particular, there's large methane digesters in Ohio. There's bioethanol facilities in Ohio. There's wind farms. A lot of our graduates work in the food industry. And then a lot of our graduates work in areas related to water quality, so protecting environmental health. And there's a lot of our students that work in government settings. So how do you manage the wastewater for a city? How do you design the sewers for a city? I always had an interest in science and also uh, in math, and I always suggest to any student that's interested in engineering, uh, especially agricultural engineering, that you really should continue to take math throughout high school. I think it's important, it's very important to have that base of the math and the science so that when you go to college you can start to specialize in different classes related to animal science, related to the biology of microorganisms, but you need that basis that you get from high school. And the other thing I would stress is that it's important to not just have the math and the science, but the biology and ecology. So where biology talks about animals, math talks about equations, and science talks about chemicals, ecology kind of puts all those together to look at how a system works. And chemistry, 
understanding uh, how reactions, balancing reactions, being able to take certain reactions that will take place uh, with chemistry, for example. That's something you could use on a regular basis or on a daily basis. And if you're working in agricultural engineering and you're doing a lot of design of structures um, for agricultural buildings, you'll need those math skills related to physics and such to understand forces and, um, and those behaviors. I think this career would appeal, to, would appeal to people who are interested in natural systems being outside in the natural environment because a lot of the things I do are outside looking at how do you merge human society with the environment. And so we need people who like the natural environment but who also understand engineering and human systems to merge those two together. So people who have the interest of, of engineering coupled with the natural environment I think are really well suited to be agricultural engineers.